here with Call to Arms, and this video is going to be about my old coat of mail, the problems with it, and what I hope to fix with my new coat of mail with uh, 5 16 inch rings. As you can see right off the bat here, I have uh, a sag here, which easy, which I think is caused by the big, bigger rings, and it doesn't really uh, affect that in my other one. And then you have, it's a little tight in the armpit, so there's not very much movement, and I don't, I'm going to hopefully fix that in my next one. Um, and it's just, the rings are too big. So I'm going to be fixing that by using smaller rings. And I might weld them together in my welding class. We'll have to figure that out. But let me take this one off, and I'll show you guys my new coat of mail that I'm working on. I got the collar done. Okay, so, so far I have my collar done for my uh, new coat. And what I actually did is I just continued the pattern up, so the rings are all... Look, this is actually backwards. Okay, so I have all the rings running this way, side to side, side to side, and there's less sag. Now I'm going to have to wait till I extend this down on, when I get my gammas in. I'll go over what that is in a second. There's no sag. I think that's because of the smaller rings, and I'll just be able to continue the sleeves, which I'm actually going to have to do a 90 degree suture, where I just bring the rings running this way, so the rings will actually run the opposite way of this, so that way then they don't fall down, because when you have mail this way, as I said in a previous video of mine, the rings tend to expand more, and they don't overlap as well. So, with that, and I plan to actually make a headpiece out of this, or a cloth, I think it's how it's pronounced. Anyways, I mentioned a gambeson earlier, I ordered one in the mail, it should be coming in Wednesday, or Tuesday, and I'll be releasing a video about that when I get that. Um, and what that is is a protective padding underneath the chainmail armor or mail armor. And what it does is it cushions the blow. Like if a sword comes in and hits it, it would it would bruise instead of breaking the bone. But um, but like a mace or an axe, something with a, a little bit more power behind it, would uh, break the man within the armor. It would break the bone, but it would, the mail would still protect you. And that's what it would happen. That's how it would work. Let's show you guys. I'll show you guys how I've been uh, doing this actually. So let me take this off. If my cameraman will rotate to my workbench. Okay, as you can see here, our rings are all running from side to side, running this way, and then that way, and that way, and this way. Now, these are uh, half blocks, what I actually make. Uh, when I actually make big pieces, I'll combine the two to make uh, significantly larger ones by just weaving them together just for when you're creating these off the bat with just rings that you cut like this, 5 sixteenths rings. It's just a lot easier to go smaller than work your way big. Now across the collar on the front, I have three full blocks and a half block and then on the, the collar from here to here on these squares I have just two tied in together like this so they would just be, be something similar to this just two running up now those are full blocks on this side and what what I was thinking about doing was actually, sorry guys, I didn't get this out to you, what I actually did was just extend this outwards. What I was thinking about doing is making a, cutting a triangle here, and then on the opposite side making another triangle, and then just weaving it together. I um, decided to cut that, and then just extend it, and extend it, and just be done, because that's what I did on my last one. And it didn't sag, so I just was happy with that. And... So I've been up to lately, uh, doing this, and bef before I get my gambus, I'm just making a whole bunch of these up. I decided to do that a few days ago. I have about nine of these made up, and be interesting when it's done. It will look a lot better than my old one. My old one weighed about 16 and a half pounds, and this actually has, for its size, quite a bit of weight to it. For it. Um, I think there's about 1,500 rings in this. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I haven't quite counted them out. Or 
Um, but in my old, but uh, bleh. anyways, um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching uh, my video. Hope this uh, keeps you interested. And it's been a while since my last video. I hope to get it, maybe another one out this week, and then maybe two, uh, showing you what I got for my forge already, and then what um, what I have. I might do a how to make charcoal video. Depends on my week goes. So, uh, thanks guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you like, and follow me on Twitter. Thanks guys.